and we are going to be setting up my 2021 bubble journal. Um, and I am live, so I'm taking live comments and questions, although the last video I just tried was kind of weird. So if you are watching the replay, welcome. Hopefully I will teach you some things um, and hopefully people ask the questions that you guys might have. Um, but the 2020 bubble journal, uh, I literally just did this and Hunter was laying down just fine and now he just picked up his baby and he's fine. Uh, or now he's squeaking. So anyways, this is one of the covers. It's the pink and white one. This one is from last last year. Hey, Julie. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's saying like nobody is here. And then all of a sudden it was like disappearing. So I'm back now. It looks like more people are coming. Okay, you got both notifications. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I'm setting my index up and what the index is all about for the bubble journal um, because you guys are all getting yours now and so now I can kind of sneak peek things and talk about things. I did not want to do this until I knew you guys had them in your hands or were going to get them in your hands within the next couple days. So we're just going to walk through that first section in the bubble journal today. Um, I will sneak peek to you um, some of the other layouts that I did. So um, I did already start setting up January and I'll just show you guys that really quick. Um, I used the Olaf sticker pack for, um, I made this sticker pack for you guys, for my members. So you can print and cut that yourself. I used anti taste sticker paper and it has all the numbers. It has everything on here that you'll need except these little flowers. I believe I got these flowers from another print and cut sticker sheet that we made, but it has these guys. Um, these are people's birthdays. So I'll go in with some birthday stickers afterwards, but I made these little headers and I might make them a little smaller on the other packs that I do so that they would fit better up here. But um, this little square fits perfect up here. So my template was perfect. But then I wanted to put them like the characters kind of coming off of those stickers. So I had to move them down, which worked perfect because I'm going on a trip these three days. So that kind of takes on that. And that's we're actually going to the snow. So it's going to be super cute. Um, and then there's no days here for January. Usually I will use those days for other things just to kind of like jot notes in, but I thought it'd be cute to put Sven there. And so that sticker pack is available under what's new on the members page. Um, and I started, I think my habit tracker. So one of the things I'm going to use my habit tracker for in the monthlies is to like clean my office. I only have to do that on Thursdays. So I just, did that and then I won't need to bubble in those bubbles. Um, and then I did start setting up my week one. So because we're traveling, I used a lot of my travel stickers. Okay, just wanted to quickly go over that, but we're gonna go over the index as quickly as we can without doing too much actual like stickers and stuff because I really love to just sit and plan and take my time. It would probably take, you know, it's probably going to take me a few hours to set up these pages just because it's one I, what I do at the end of the year is I really take some time and I just process through what I want to see 2021 look like, or in last year's case, 2020. Um, and if you guys want me to do a live walkthrough of 2020, I know it was kind of insane and it was a weird year to launch a planner for sure, because I just, obviously a lot of the stuff that I had plans for did not happen. So um, this was the black and I used the transparent pink HTV, which if you guys didn't know, Caesar is discontinuing, which I'm so sad about. It's my favorite um, color of theirs and they're discontinuing it. So uh, I don't know, we'll have to figure something out for that. But I just used HTV and you guys can see that it held up so well and I beat this guy up like, the, this part is falling apart. Um, I use so many stickers and paper and pictures that um, it just fills up. And watercolor, paper, like I watercolor in here, so it really makes um, the pages just kind of like expand. So I beat this up. So I'm really excited that the new Bubble Journal has um, more more pages. So I would put these together and show you how much bigger it is, but look at last year's. Really, it's... It's a lot smaller. It started out a lot smaller, but it ended even bigger. So I'm glad that the new one has more pages. Um, 
No, stickers do not come with it because we do all of our own print and cut stickers. So I have everything you need to print and cut your stickers on the membership and you can use sticker paper. Um, Corinne says she's gonna bling hers. I'm super excited to see that. I um, think I could try to put some bling on mine. I did I did definitely want to bling this guy. Um, you know, so when he's sticking out of the pages, he'd be blinging down here but I don't think bling will last on my cover because I literally take this guy everywhere. And if 2020 was more of a travel year, this thing probably would have been beaten up even more, which I actually love. I love seeing my journal beaten up. If it is perfect by the end of the year, it means I didn't use it. I didn't use it to process or dream or anything. And so I'm really one of those people who just loves to beat their journal up. Um, Yes, the stickers are for the membership. They're print and cut stickers and we make, obviously I make stickers. So this is a template that I was playing around with and I got it to the perfect size. So we have some sticker sheets that will come out for your index. Um, some that will span over two, some that can span over three. And I actually just used it to cut out washi. So this is washi right here and here, some old washi I had left over. And then these are stickers that I created um, and then this is a little cute star and I'm doing my yearly roadmap on this. So if you guys don't know how the index works, um, the first index is for your yearly spreads. So this is the first index page and then it goes into the next three pages that are more index. I know it's kind of crazy, but just stick with me because it'll make sense and it'll help you. So these 20 pages are for things you need to see. The Dumbo planner stickers should be available. If they're not on there, I will make sure they are. But if you have not found them, look on the what's new page. I added that and that's where new stuff is. Okay, so um, this is where everything before your months begin. So my month's everyone's months start right here. So this is January right here or whatever month you're starting this planner. You don't have to start in January um, because it's undated. So this is all monthlies and there's 20 pages for every single month for you to do kind of something crazy, whatever you want. And we tell ourselves what's in this in the monthly index. But this little section of your journal Pardon Hunter, he really did just get his bark box today if you guys follow him on Instagram. Um, so he's squeaking his toys. This section right here, I know it doesn't seem like very much, is these 20 pages, okay? So there's 20 lines, so you can write it out if you wanna write out what's on each page, and then there's 20 little baby pages squares. So you can visually see what you're gonna be putting on these 20 pages right here. I know it doesn't seem like 20 pages, but it is 20 pages. And so I just went in with a pencil, and before I even did my index, um, hi Donna, I just went in with a pencil and kind of wrote out what I wanted on my bubble journal according to the page. So I know I love my six by five layout and I know that I love to just open up right to that. And that's my six by five, three by two, six by five. And then I went in and I really love to do the yearly roadmap on a spread that's very basic, again, because it's a lot of drawing. It's not necessarily like structured with squares. So I used that. And then there's squares, a square double page and I use that for prayer. So I'm going to use each square for a different thing I'm praying for and hopefully, um, you know, I can reflect on those and go back to those. And so hopefully I can open up to these each day and just kind of look at, you know, some of those things that have been answered or some of those things that need a little extra prayer. Um, my period tracker, I used one of the bullet pages for that because I really love the um, shark spread that I've been using for a couple years. It's not as cute as my 2021 one was. I was looking at um, my 2018, my first bubble bullet journal, and I love the period tracker that I did my first year. And I think I just winged it and I got like, Oh, it's right there. Um, I got too comfortable drawing Mr. Shark and that's how he ended up being. So you can see that I used one of the yearly trackers for him, but because I only have to set it up once a year, I can spend a little time drawing that out. So 
that's where he's going to go. And then my major habit focus. So for the year, I want to focus on one thing. And I can't even remember what that habit was that I told you guys, but I, I'm i still kind of processing through what habit I want on this page, but it's going to be my one major habit. I shared it on Instagram, so I'm not really sure. I can't remember exactly what I said. Um, fitness and measurements is going to be on two pages, um, and I haven't really decided how I'm going to set that up. And then my period track, no, pro oh, that was all, okay, project tracker. So this one is another squares page. I don't know if you guys can see how the, the bubble pages look, but they're basically these very faint bubbles that you could use one or two. So the line shouldn't get in your way too much. So if you did want to freestyle a square across these two, you could. But at the same time, if you want them to guide you, um, let me show you. Oh, I think I did it in my business planner. I really started getting really creative with the frames around these and I loved it because they're such a good guide and you can get kind of wonky with some of them and make them look character-y or make them really pretty. Um, birthday and events. This is something that I use every year. And so I love to just be able to open it up, look at like what birthdays and events I have coming up. And if I want to make gifts for people or if I want to get gifts for people that I know, you know, baby showers are coming or, or due dates or all the things that I'm going to want to get gifts for. I love making that spread super fun. My travel tracker, I'm really hoping it gets a little bit more exciting this year, but we never know. You never know. But we did not travel very many places this year, very local and did a lot of things at home like everybody else. Um, and then a cleaning schedule. I didn't use this very much last year, but I'm going to hope that I do this year. And then I have a two pages that are blank. So I'm leaving some space for something. So you can see right here, that is um, right here, I believe. So I've got cleaning schedule and then I guess I have two. Oh, that's Cricut Projects. I just didn't write it out. So this is Cricut Projects. I just didn't put the title on there. So that's right here. I do have one open page. I must have gone in and put some other things in there, but I have some pages. So then we go into our monthlies. Um, good. I'm glad I'm giving you good ideas. So I've been bullet journaling for uh, three years now and sorry, got to move out of the sun for you guys. Um, and the first year was a hot mess. And the second year I used two. And then the third year was when I came out with my own and I structured it a little too much, I think, in this one. And so I went for this guy, which is less structured, but more um, more space and freedom to do what you want. So uh, I really took a leap and said, okay, I don't think they need that much structure, but they need more structure. Than <laughs> so less structure in a, me telling you how and what to do, but more structure in the drawing portion. So the drawing portion is the part that takes forever. And let me just show you how the end of my, my, my month, my year, my year, I finally went in and laid out the rest of the year because, and thank God we made the stencils because the stencils saved me because I was just getting over, um, getting over drawing things out. So I, I used the stencils. So that was really when the stencils took off. That was when I decided it was time for me to um, get in there and pre-lay these things out because I was like, um, hello, I really, really don't want to have to draw these squares again for a whole year. So instead of getting my stencils out and all the things, I can just go in and use my bubbles and draw what boxes I need for that week. So like for week one, I didn't even, I didn't even go around all of the squares. I just put stickers for the days and we have these stickers, the Mondays, all the days of the week. Those are the stickers I use the most. I use the day, the daily stickers and numbers. And so I'm, I'm, I think I'm out of these numbers, but these are my favorite numbers by Happy Planner, but I'll have to make some very similar and they're on like a clear backing. So I definitely need to get clear sticker paper in stock for you guys. Oh, and I also kept the, um, 
winter theme going. So these are also from the Olaf theme. So I will use stickers from this, uh, the same pack on the week that I do on the month. So if you see that, there's Olaf, he's wintry. And then I can use Olaf throughout the entire month or I don't have to, but I did you know, move the rest of them. I know everyone loves numbers. So these numbers come with the Olaf pack, but I really want to get some clear sticker paper only because obviously we want them to cut out of circles. And if this was white, it would, you know, take over some of that gray. So clear sticker paper would be ideal for that, but it works. It works good. And then you just have to cut circles. And if you guys don't know how to use print and cut, I suggest learning if you are a bubble journaler or bullet journaler. Um, I could not find the Olaf pack anywhere when I went looking. Okay, so everyone, there's a new page called What's New. And when you click on it, it's all the new things. And sometimes when I add new things, I'm which I'm enough people have said it that know how to use the membership that I'm thinking maybe it's... Um, it's me. So I need to go make sure that that updated and it's all in there. So let me just show you my yearlies from last year because remember we had this kind of like setup where the yearlies were all in the front and then there were these quarters and then so I took the quarters out completely. Don't like that. So I um I always use the events and birthdays, so I loved that one. Um, this was my roadmap, and guys, it really went downhill after COVID. You can see my little COVID guys came out in March, and after that, I was like, this year is lame. But I really got back into my bubble journal or my bullet journal at the end of the year, and so I just need to go back and refill this in, but... Something I'm planning for 2021 is just to make sure if life doesn't look like crazy busy and I'm not traveling everywhere and doing all the things that I'm still in this thing, processing and dreaming and praying and all the things because that's what my bullet journal is for. And you're going to see sermon notes were on point. So like I use this for sermon notes. You can see my six by five. Six by five is January, February, March, April, May. So you could see by June, I just dropped having goals. So that's cool. And I stopped tracking my weight. Um, Shark Week stayed pretty consistent. Uh, tried to keep up on that just because I hate when it catches me surpri by surprise. Um, vacations, birthdays, all the things just kind of went to crap. Uh, and then my morning routine, never used that. Not putting that in 2021. My brain dump, like my brain just dumped. It didn't really dump in here that much. So I didn't really put a brain dump spot. My travel tracker. So nope, we did not go to Mexico. No, I did not go to Kenya or Mexico. Um, we did go to Truckee. That was fun. That was our before COVID trip. And I did go to Phoenix. So anything that happened in January, I got on here. Everything else didn't happen. But I do have this sticker left over. So I will be doing that sticker again in this one and hopefully traveling. We've got some local travel trips that we're trying to do. Um, the world sticker is from the travel pack. I got it Michael's and I'm not sure of the brand, but it's like a little pack like this big. Could have met me in Truckee. Um, this was my winter schedule. This started out great. Uh, so that was fun. And then these were the quarterlies, which didn't end up being a lot. But let me show you my um, my sermon notes. These are my favorite. So this was a sermon note. Basically, I got really good at these because that's all we had was online services. And um, I did not lose any weight. So <laughs> there's that. Uh, but my habit tracker started out really good too. And then I just didn't, I wasn't on it. So January was cute and all the things. And then my monthly reflections are very deep, so I won't go into them, but they are very important. So you guys are going to see that I put monthly reflections in here. And actually my first one was deep because I was just so like worried about 2020 that I was thinking 2019 was going to relive itself and it didn't. So that was really cool. Um, but you'll see I love stickers. Um, that's a monthly reflection. And it just goes too much into details of things. Here's a good monthly reflection that doesn't. Um, this was after 
March. So this was when COVID happened. And basically this page reminds me of all things like Landis' softball team. And um, we started volunteering at the food closet. And so like just things that we had to all, like shift right away. But at the same time, um, we, I was like, okay, we're going to have to change our lives around. And then this is when my monthly reflections got really lame. But I'm going back in and doing some pre-fill. So I showed you guys that on Instagram that I'm doing some like backfill of my um, – my monthly reflections and printing out all the photos from this year and they're starting to look good again. So I can't wait to share along with you guys. They were looking really lame and I went in last week and I did this from Landis's birthday and it was super cute. So it's getting there. Use stickers, use pictures. I suggest the sprocket. Talked about that. But look at this. This is, um, I think this was Easter Easter, this was when we were in full lockdown. So sermon notes when I was at home were so fun because I had my colored pencils with me. Like, look at this one. Um, I think this is two sermon notes and we were going through Genesis and look at that one. That one's like just so cool. Um, so I really, you're going to see consistently, I only use one color pen and I highlight with the, with colors, with watercolor pencils, with brush pens, all the pens, um, but I really only write with black. I don't write with any other colors, but you do you. Don't um, don't stop because I only use black, but that's my thing. I use black and I use stickers and I use brush pens. And this guy, like I love the Marvy brush pen. Um, and this has the, I don't really write with that side very much, but if I underline or highlight and I have the same color, so I love those pens. Um, but I keep, this one's a little thick. This is a 04. I don't like that. So I have the super, I don't even know what the SB stands for. Nope. That's a brush pen. That is not what I'm looking for. So I keep anything that looks like this around. You guys know, I love the Sharpie pens, these ones. Um, but I really like the Faber Castell pens. I love the, this brand, but not the brush pen, uh, superior. And so you can get those in any art section. And so that's it. I hope that helps you guys kind of do your index. I will try to go live as I, um, I will definitely post pictures on Instagram. That's where you guys are going to see this bad boy the most, but I will try to go live. The thing is with planning is I really just love to be in a quiet space alone and, um, just get crazy with my planning. So and I like to just take my time to pick the right stickers. So it would be really boring for me to do that. And if I wanted to film it and edit it, it would probably be a lot of footage that I don't want to deal with. So um, I can't wait to see your guys' spreads. Make sure you guys are sharing them with me on Instagram so I can see them. And I will share them on my Instagram stories if you guys tag me. And then I'm using the hashtag for this bullet journal, Tay's personal bubble journal. I don't remember. You'll have to look at the last post and I have that hashtag. So I'll have another one for my business one and then another one for our family one, which I can already tell our family one might be a little low key, but I'm hoping that we can use it with the girls and they can use it too, but we'll see. They have their own bubble journals too, and they've been diving into theirs. So I will try to share that. Will you go through how to do a spread for those of us who are new to bubble journals? Um, yeah, so I don't want to pinhole you guys into like one way of doing it because there are so many ways you can do it. But basically I started with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weekend. Because we're traveling this weekend, I didn't really need to, I knew I didn't need to put much in here. But you could spread this across two. But I, I skipped two pages because I really love having one week for sermon notes. And then I went into... Again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weekend. And I did Saturday, Sunday on one blob. And then I usually will do a to-do list somewhere. But I'm thinking I'm just going to have a monthly to-do list. That's a running to-do list that I decorate at the end. Because I don't like to-do lists. Um, just chilling in my planner. So I'll take the to-do list and I'll just cover it up with, um, with pictures at the end. So I normally like these pictures, I'll use a square like this has 
to-dos. I'm going to go in and I put a sticker there, but I could cover it with a sticker and a picture. Um, but you won't, you wouldn't know, but there's a to-do list under here. And I didn't like the to-do list, so I just printed out a picture with the sprocket and put it on there. And then no more to-do list. And it doesn't look ugly when I go back to look at this um, in five years or whenever I'm going to look at this. But that's what, that's why bullet journaling is my favorite. And um, I did set up another page as filming the videos I'm going to be filming for January, I believe. I believe. So um, I hope that makes sense. I hope that it helps you guys. Um, if you have not gotten one, you guys can still get them. They'll be for sale all year. Uh, there, You can jump in at any time. So do you keep the same information in your phone as well? Appointments, events, etc. Yes. So I do like to-do lists and reminders and things that I just want to jot down in here. But for productivity, I keep a Google Calendar and then I use a to-do list app. So um, that helps me stay digital. But this bubble journaling is my form of creative memories and productivity. So you have to find a good balance. If you like everything on paper, make sure you keep everything on paper. If you need to be highly, highly productive, digital is key. This is for when you sit down once a week and just dream and process. And I like to back process. So whatever I got done for the week, I like to put in here and log in here at the end of the week or the end of the day um, or the beginning of the day for the day before. So I'll wake up and if I'm bubble journaling in the morning, I will process what happened the day before and just write that down, gratitude, all the things. So I like to backlog, but obviously I have a lot of backlogging to do for 2020. So, but I really spend the last week of the year, that week before between Christmas and New Year's, and I just finish this guy out and I prep this guy. So um, if you guys want to do that, you guys can get this. I can't promise it will come by Christmas. So if you want it for a gift, I can't promise that, but it might if you order it today or tomorrow. Other than that, um, you will get it by the new year. And even if you get it after January 1st and you're watching this, you can still, you know, obviously backlog a little bit and then start fresh from there. And if you're watching this anytime way after that, feel free to jump in and start bubble journaling. And by then, maybe we'll have a bunch more other patterns and covers. All right. I love you guys. I will see you guys on the internet somewhere. Bye.